it today I am back with another YouTube video for you guys and today's video is going to be my top five books now I thought I'd do this because I don't normally read a lot of books in my time but I used to and I've seen a lot of people doing their top five books so I thought I'd do it so my first book is one by Zoe Sorg and it is her first book Girl Online. I have actually read all of this book, it is one of my favourites, I absolutely love it and it's about a girl called Penny who she goes on like a flight to or because her mum organises weddings and then she meets this guy so I really like this book. I would really recommend it if you like girly books. And the back I'm just gonna read what it says it says Penny has a secret under the allies girl online Penny blogs her hidden feelings about friendship boys her crazy family and the panic attacks that have begun to take over her life when things go from bad to worse her family whisks her away to New York where she meets Noah a gorgeous guitar strumming American suddenly Penny is falling in love and capturing every moment of it on her blog but Noah has a secret too one that threatens to ruin Penny's cover and her closest friendship forever so yeah, I'd really recommend this book. It is Girl Online and I think you can get it from most shops now. You can get it in the hardback or you can get it in paperback as well. But I'd really recommend this book if you haven't read it already. Now my second one is another one by Zoella and it is Girl Online on Tour. This is the second Girl Online book. It is a sequel. I have not finished reading this one yet. I have almost finished reading it. But so far, it is about we see Penny and Noah and him going on tour. So I'd really recommend it if you've read Girl Online and you enjoy Girl Online, then I'd really recommend you getting Girl Online on tour. And on the back, there's the back, it says Penny, Penny's bags are packed. When Noah invites Penny on his European music tour, she can't wait to spend time with her rock godtastic boyfriend. But between Noah's jam-packed schedule, less than welcoming bandmates and threatening messages from jealous fans, Penny wonders whether she's really cut out for life on tour. She can't help but miss her family, her best friend Elliot and her blog going online. Can Penny learn to balance life and love on the road or will she lose everything in pursuit for the perfect summer? So yeah, I'd really recommend this book if you haven't read it already and I'd really recommend you to get Girl Online as well because that's the first one. I think you really have to read Girl Online to get Girl Online on tour and great news if you like Zoella, she is doing book number three I think that's coming out in November and that's going to be called Girl Online Going Solo so I'm definitely going to be getting that when it comes out. So my third book is one by my favourite band ever and that is Little Mix. I absolutely love Little Mix and this is their, their Ready to Fly. It's kind of like an autobiography and it is really nice. I've had this for quite a while. I haven't managed to finish reading it but it is really, really, really good. I would really recommend it to anyone who loves Little Mix. It's just amazing. It's got about all their, like, before they came musicians and pop stars and stuff and it is really good and on the back I really like it because it has all of them and then it has their signatures as well. I'll pick a random page. This is where I am I'm at so far. I'm on the big audition see I haven't read that much. I've still got all of that to read and she's at my little bookmark there. So I've still got to read all that but let me pick the first page. This is the front oh I just bashed the sun. This is the first page, which I think is really, really cool picture. Right, I read the introduction to you. Hello and welcome to the first ever official Little Mix book. We've had so much fun writing about our younger years, style secrets, the tour, our X Factor days and each other. And we hope you'll enjoy reading it every bit as much as we've enjoyed putting it together. Life with Little Mix has been non-stop since we won the X Factor. It's been amazing travelling around together and working on our debut debut album and it feels so incredible to be getting our music out there whilst hopefully spreading a positive message we just want to say thanks once again for all of your unbelievable support since day one it may sound like a bit of a cliche but without all of you we wouldn't be writing this right now as a band we're happier and closer than ever and we've got some massive plans for the future we'd love you to be there with us every step of the way lots of love jade leanne jesse and perry so i think that's a really good book and if you love little mix i'd really recommend you to get this 
the next one, surprise, surprise, is another Zoella book. It's the Alfie and Zoella A to Z. I think it's really, really cool. I actually got a free poster with this, and it's a poster that looks like this. It's on my wall that way, so you can't really see it. But it's basically got Zoe and Alfie in those two costumes, and it says Alfie and Zoella A to Z. So it's a really good book. On the back, it's like that, and it says, Calling Goals, Alfie and Zoella fans. This is the ultimate all-you-need-to-know guide to the vlogging world's favourite couple. This book is packed with brilliant photographs, the best Zoella hair and beauty tips, fun Zelfie pranks, puzzles and quizzes, bedroom, bedroom design inspiration, fashion and, uh, the, fashion and style essentials, BFF and relationship advice, free exclusive poster and much more. So it is a really, really good book. If you really want to find more about more out about Zoella or Elfie, I really recommend you get this. So my last book is one that I haven't really got. Well, I got it recently. I think I've read a chapter of it. Let me just check. Yeah, I've read a chapter of it, and so far I'm loving it, so it's definitely in my top five. And it is Rachel Reaney Russell's book called Dork Diaries Puppy Love. I really like the front cover of this book and the back. It is really shiny and it, if if I had a book out then I think I'd really put this one. Like the cover. It is really, really cool. And also I like how the picture is. This is basically, I think it's, if you ever read Diver Wimpy Kid, I think it's the girl version of Diver Wimpy Kid. It is really, really cool and I'd really recommend it if you like books where it's basically like a diary like that. Then I'd really recommend it. On the back it says, Operation Pause. Nikki's mission hides seven puppies from two parents, an entire school and one mean girl out for revenge. When the animal shelter that Brandon volunteers at, how cute is he, is too full to take a litter of abandoned puppies, Nikki decides to look after them into the shelter has more room. Simple, right? Mm, no. Her parents won't allow dogs in the house, so Nikki has to hide the pups at home and take them to school in secret. But the dogs are a lot harder work than they look, and messier too. Is Nikki pla is Nikki's plan going to end in a poor flea dorky disaster? I really recommend getting this book if you like Diver Wimpy Kid, because this is exactly what, not exactly like, but really relatable to Diver Wimpy Kid. So yeah, that was my top five books. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below what are your top five books. And make sure to subscribe if you are new because I am currently at 78, 79 subscribers, I think, at the moment. So I'm so happy I'm getting closer to 100 subscribers. So keep on subscribing. And remember, when I do get to 100, I will be doing a giveaway. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!